Before we get started, I just want to let you know that in today's video, we're going to go ahead and go in a little fragrance haul and just go look for some specific fragrances, specifically as the title says, Adidas, so I can build my Adidas fragrance collection. So, let's go ahead and get started. Hey James, welcome back to my channel. It is I, Jose Wen Chong, and today's Pokey Saturday, we are going to be actually looking for some Adidas fragrances. I know it's been a while since i last mentioned that i would be doing something like this and one of my videos someone one of you had commented that i should definitely do a little vlog of me going to the store so i'm definitely going to be doing that and i just arrived to these, my local ross and the last time i was here shopping i did find a fragrance oh i found multiple um adidas fragrances I didn't buy any because the biscuit was broke and so today i'm just gonna go ahead and buy two just two fragrances and then we'll just take it home and then review them for saturday's video so let's we're gonna go ahead now okay okay guys so they had a this is the only fragrance they had when it came to adidas but i came across this little mustang fragrance thing i'm like never heard of it i'm gonna go ahead and take it it's only 16.99 so i'm gonna take it so you set the house okay so i am back i don't look like crap see <laughs> i look like crap. anyway so i came across the mustang that i showed you guys up in the in the store there was only this like there was like many multiple sets there but that was the only mustang one they had sets for like what fragrance, what fragrance was it it was like one little sets for a guess and like other other type of fragrances but i'm not really into guess well, I never really smelled any, so I can't really say I'm not into it. But I was throwing the Fraditas. And then, since there's only one set of the Mustang, I'm like, I'll just go ahead and take it. I just want to see how it smells. <laughs> I was standing in line for this particular fragrance, like, to, to pay. I was thinking up the notes. And I'm just like, oh, no. It has vanilla in here. It has some, what was it? Some vanilla. It has some bergamot and grapefruit and cinnamon i'm just like oh my gosh it's probably gonna be like a very very warm fragrance i've never smelled this before so i bought this blinded blindedly oh no wait hold on the grapefruit was the red one i only googled the red one but for the red misting and i only bought this because it was the only set that they had there for this particular item and i just hope they smell good because i've always been intrigued in getting the mercedes-benz fragrances like i just had no idea that must even had any or Ford made any, so that's new to me. I'm, I can't wait to try these. And yeah, okay, we're gonna go home and just see what they smell like. I was gonna go stop at Target and maybe buy some Pokemon cards, but I really don't want to. I just wanna go home and rest. I'll go see you in a bit. So I decided to make it to Target and I'm getting the Umbreon. Okay guys, so I just got home going upstairs to my room and I did get the um I got the Umbreon tin. It's right over here. So I got the Umbreon tin and also got the Brilliant Stars EV packs. I know I've gotten these before, but I want to get single packs, booster packs, and that's all they had, honestly. I was going to film and, like, show you all what they had. But there was this dad and his two kids there, and he was like, oh, we're not getting that tin, we're not getting that jumbo. We're just going to get the booster pack because that's it. And I was just like, sir, like, you can't just get the booster pack. Like, if you need to get tins, but I just got a mouth shut. Who am I to judge? Maybe he's on a budget just like I am because I'm so broke right now. So that's all I got. And once I got the fragrances... And yeah, this one was it. And yeah, this one. So I was gonna go ahead and just sit down and film for you guys, but I look like I feel like crap. Like I'm just gonna go ahead and take off my makeup and then go to the gym and then I'll be back because I really do just wanna come back home, shower, and then film for y'all. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. I know this video is taking forever. I apologize for that, y'all. So I never made it to the gym, so I came to Burlington and look what I found. A new sound patrol. Let me see what this smells like and it's only 7 dollars let me get that so they have here Burlington all these women fragrances but no Adidas can't find any of that just a whole lot of Nautica Jupe the Adam Levine perfume and we have that Sport Asado right over there Asado that's 
what they have here. Okay, guys, so I came back after the whole first Ross when I went to my house. I actually, before arriving to my house, I actually went to Burlington with my coworker, my ex, my ex coworker, good friend Judy, my good Judy, I'm a little bit. We went to Burlington. We found, what did I find there? I found this. I found this Nissan Patrol fragrance. I've never heard of this, so I was really interested in seeing what this really was. So I picked this up as well. And then later on, we had went to another Ross in another city, and we got this. Adidas Team 5 Special Edition of the Toilet. And then we got the Victory League, you know, from the first Ross that I went to. This one, I don't know how much. Oh, it was $7.99. You can see the price is right then and there. The Team 5 looks all beat up. And this one cost $7.99 as well. And then the Nissan one was as well as $7.99. There's a whole bunch of $7.99. I thought I got another fragrance. I'm not sure. Was it just three? Oh, and then I'm mostly excited about this one. I will go ahead and do a review on each and every one of these fragrances later on. But in today's video, we're going to go ahead and talk about Adidas. So about both of these fragrances. Okay, so I bought both of these fragrances that are Ross, and I was a little skeptical about getting this particular one because it looks so beat up. As you can see here on this screen, it was packaged like in one of those like protective security thingies, and so it looks like you guys. Team 5 for the glass bottle. Special edition. I do not know what this smells like. I just hope it smells good good here's the, um, here's the ammonizer it looks all nice and blue and then let me go ahead and read some notes about this fragrance hold on y'all team five okay so Based on fragrant on fragrantica.com, Team 5 Adidas is an aromatic, an aromatic fragrance for men. Team 5 was launched in 2013. The top notes are green apple, lemon, and basil. Middle notes are lavender, sage, mint, and pine tree. Base notes are amber and benzoin, wherever that is. So, those are notes for this fragrance. We're going to get this one to spray. I don't know what it should have. Let's see how it sprays onto my skin. Okay, so there it is on my arm. Um, this kind of reminds me of the uh, what's that one fragrance called? Why the the toilet? Or the parfum. Or the parfum. Not too bad. Very alcoholic. You can smell the alcohol. But for 79, I'm not gonna complain about it. It's pretty nice. And I do like how it's sprayed, honestly. No, this reminds me of. What's that thing called? Ugh. Like Dolce Cabana. Don't know which one, but something that something in that aspect. Okay, now the next one we're gonna try, which was also the one that was kind of kind of scared to even like get because I read the notes when I was at the store. I was like, oh no, this is gonna be the Victory League. By Adidas. And just because it says like on the main accords there is vanilla, cinnamon, sweet, fruity, warm, spicy, powdery, fresh, spicy, aromatic, lavender, and musky. The top notes are 
I will, it just says notes are vanilla, pear, cinnamon, lavender, musk, bergamot, cedar, and basil. I do love cedar, cedar, but I'm just a little skeptical about the actual vanilla and cinnamon. It's going to feel very, very warm. I just feel like that's what it is. So, Victory League Adidas for men. It doesn't talk about much about it. It just says that type of amber woody fragrance for men it was launched in 2006. So... I hope it's this one. I should. This is what the packaging looks like. There's a price. And voila! Ooh, it's very yellowish. So stoked to open this one up. Go ahead and spray the um, upper arm. I can smell the alcohol. <laughs> I don't pick, I am not picking up the cinnamon. I'm picking up the vanilla. Warm, I'm not picking up warm at all. It's just. Musky. It's very musky. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what to say. It's just very musky. I don't pick up cinnamon at all. And it doesn't remind me of any fragrance that we have that's out and about right now. Like it doesn't not at all. Okay, now before we move on and open up the other other ones, we're gonna go ahead and open up the Pokemon cards. So you can see here we have the Eevee and a huge Eevee coin and I'm pretty sure this star, brilliant stars. So I did end up going to Target. I I was just like, I want to get more but a biscuit is broke right now. So here's the Eevee caught a little coin, a little star thingy, little hollow card. Here's the card card y'all. Enjoy that. And we have Shaylin or Shaman. Shaman. I hope you guys are loving this layout. I like, I am still trying to figure out how I want the background to look. I just recently moved. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Hosey and Jungle. This channel talk about Pokemon cards as well as makeup. And oh, I'm wearing the L'Oreal foundation. Some old L'Oreal foundation. It's going to be, oh no, the Maybelline foundation, the matte poreless. I want to oily in the shade 235. I don't think it's my shade, but it's whatever. I mean, it, it looks good on me. I also wanted to say that, um, what was I going to say? I also want to say that, should I put on this or make up a face? I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. I'm open up the cards. Here is the card card. And we have a green energy. We have Storavia, a berry, we have a clung, we have a Minchino looking super cute, a Carablast looking amazing, a Buzel, Halucha. Oh, I'm picking up the scent. I don't know what scent that is, but. Okay, I'm smelling the first one. I shouldn't have sprayed them on my arm. They smell so nice. And they're like far away. So I project somewhat well. <laughs> we have the row. We have the, oh, what's it called? The Roseanne's backup. Oh, shoot. And then we have Warm Adam. Super cute. Okay. We're going to go ahead and check out the other fragrances. So I was really excited about Misty when I first saw this. I was like, okay, I know Mercedes-Benz makes fragrances. And I was like, okay, whatever. But 
Mustang and Ford. I had no idea. I'm like, look at this. There are three fragrances here. We have the red of the toilet, one fluid ounce, the white of the toilet, one fluid ounce, and the blue of the toilet ounce. Let's go ahead and take this out. And this was for only I don't know the price. Oh, $16.99. Right in there. Let's go ahead and see what the notes are for these fragrances. Okay, I think I found missing blue. We'll say blue, but that looks different here. It's just says blue. Cologne spray, and this one says blue of the toilette. And I'm hoping it's the same one that's on here. It says, it says lemon, mint, bergamot, and basil. Middle notes has geranium, cloves, armesia, clary sage, cardamom, pine tree, lavender, and base notes cedar, musk, and patchouli. So if that's patchouli, you know it's going to last a little longer. Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, shit, I don't have my scissors. There's a white one right then in there. Look at the detail that it has on top of the casing. Ford Mustang. Oh, shoot. Here's a blue one. And then the red. They're so cute, little nice and designed little fragrance bottles. I'm so excited, honestly, to smell them. I had blotters, but I don't know what happened to them. I need to go ahead and like find them as soon as I can or later on. But here's the Mustang, the red one. So apparently the red one here, like the one that shows on the screen, this one has grapefruit, lemon zest, and tarragon. Middle notes are lavender, mint, aluminum, and sandalwood, patchouli, and musk. Ooh, okay, so here's this one. We're gonna spray the red one first. And the red one we're gonna spray in the, on the hand right there. Oh, that was a quick spray. It's all the alcohol. I don't smell the lemon. Oh. Very musky. Not bad at all. Let's go see what bl the blue one smells like. Again, I forgot what the blue one smelled like. Hold on, y'all. The blue ones really have lemon, mint, bergamot, and basil, cedar as a base one, and patchouli. So they, they should all smell the same in a way. I'm going to spray my hand right over here. The red one, I mean, yeah, the red one, like, dry down super quick. Can only pick anything up. So I will definitely use these particular scents maybe for, like, the gem. The blue one's still going strong. Oh, I smell the lemon. Musky. The musting, the red one, you have to, like, legit smell, sniff it from your skin skin. Oh my gosh, I can smell the vanilla on the um, Adidas Victory League. And then the team one smells nice, but you have to legit sniff them at your, you know, 
Can't really pick them up. Okay, now the last one we're gonna try is gonna be the white one. Let me see if they have a white one here at the nose as well because you know, like, hmm. they don't specify, like, I don't see the particular white bottle. I'm just gonna go ahead and look it up. Oh, I just Google. There's like was this thing for women as well. I don't see it. I'm just going to go ahead and... Bergamot, lemon, mint, and basil, middle notes, lavender. I don't know what this is. Hold on. Just trying to see what's in here. So this is part of the... It's a different bottle. So it says missing cologne spray. Can't find it. And then regarding the missing white. There's a white bottle. It doesn't say missing white, just says Ford Mustang. Okay, so here's the white one. Spray that right over here. Okay. This one smells... Much more sweeter. Like very warmish. It's and it's most powdery. Very powdery. It, it reminds me of the oh, what's that one called? Like your attic, eau de parfum. Just like a very, very lighter scent of that one. But definitely powdery, like baby powder. Is that what it's, that's what it's called? The baby powder that goes on baby's bottoms? That's what it smells like. I don't hate it. Hold on. The red one smells sweet. This is like powder. I don't know which is my favorite out of the three. I don't know. Okay. The last fragrance we're going to be opening up is going to be the Nissan Patrol. This one I'm super stoked about it because it's not an eau de toilet. It's just, this is a eau de parfum. Here are the top notes. Grapefruit, birch leaf, green apple, the heart, sage, lavender, oceanic notes. Base, moth, patchouli, and cedar wood. Mature cologne by Nissan for men is a masculine cologne perfect for fans of complex fragrances. Top notes are green and fruity, tangy bitter grapefruit, tart fresh green apples, and tangy woody birch leaves. The scent then moves into more subtle notes of clean medicinal lavender, salty marine oceanic notes, and savory pepper sage. The base notes are essentially earthy and include Ostery, woody, setter, bitter, inky moss, and darkly sweet patchouli. So let's go ahead and open it up. And I don't have my scissors. Oh my gosh.
I'm in the U.S., so it is awesome. I just didn't know that car makes you make for like this. Like, who would have known? Who would have known? Here's what the box looks like, you guys. This awesome little design right here. Who's excited about that new Z coming out, you guys? Who's excited for the Z? And put it up. Oh wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. Weirdly designed bottle. It's very heavy. 3.4 ounces. Or the perfume. It reminds me of like a Mont Blanc fragrance. You can hear the fragrance. And push it just open it like this okay oh yeah that's very weird let's go ahead and spray this oh very masculine woodsy strong af like Okay, I'm not liking. I'm not. I'm not. Not hating it. I'm actually liking it. The notes say that they have fruity. It doesn't seem to smell fruity, but I am getting the la the little lavender. Pepper, definitely smell the pepper. I don't see any green apple in here or any grapefruit. Fruity where? Okay, yeah. Yours was, yours, I guess it's like, I don't know, like, I don't get the fruits unless you tap on it. Okay, that's it for the fragrance, you guys. It does a great fragrance for only $7.99 or $17.99. What was this? $7.99, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, but these fragrances, this one, the vanilla one, the um, Ivy, the Ivy League, the, Ivy, the Pokemon Ivy League, the Victory League smells really good. And that was the one I was afraid of too, like just the warm. <sighs> the red smells nice, it dried down nicely. It was okay. The powder is still there, the powder is still there. Okay guys, that's it for the fragrance part of the video. Now we're going to head and open up the last pack, the second pack of the Pokemon cards. Here we have brilliant stars i'm gonna go ahead and wear the patrol tomorrow at work because i do work at at macy's and i do sell fragrances too and oh shoot and i am like currently loving the oh from polar earth and also the um cobalt by corina herrera and a vendor actually gave me the corina herrera cobalt in a roller and then I'm to it. I lost it. And then another vendor gave me a little polar earth, little chavo spray that they use to like talk about in during practice during training. So I will review those later. I am like so broke to even buy like a new fragrance. I did buy the uh oh, what's it called? It's a woman's fragrance. Lieb or the parfum. I hate the parfum by Lieb. But to check it off like the longest, I actually ended up loving it. I don't know why. It's just a weird thing. It would make me nauseous. So that would be a review for another video when I do get it. Okay, guys? Let's go ahead and open up this Brilliant Stars pack. So if you so far if you're enjoying this video, go ahead and like, press that like button, subscribe, comment. Do whatever you do. Do whatever you can. Here's the card card, y'all. And we have a blue energy card, a Starmie, a fresh water set, Siglyph, Cherubi, super cute, a sock, Carpish, 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 a Golet, a Chimeco, oh, an Electivite for the reverse, and we have a Warm Madam, the little green one, super cute. Oh, it's a cute little picture. 
Okay, guys, that's it for the Pokemon section. I hope y'all had a great time watching me open up these amazing Pokemon cards and also checking out these fragrances. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out which one's my favorite. Patrol is okay, but not my favorite. You notice the other perfume. The powder one smells so powdery and clean. Oh. The blue one, the missing blue. Ugh. Not my favorite. The red one it smells a little sweet, like tender sweet. This one smells so good. Ugh. My favorite's gonna have to be Rachel Lee, you guys. Okay, guys, that's it for the fragrance part of the video. I hope you guys had a great time watching me open up this fragrance haul. Honestly, like, I just thought I would be talking about one, two, three, four, five, six fragrances in one video. We did it. But if you do see these out in the wild, out in the wild, like the Pokemon cards, the Pokemon, um, you see the Mustang, the Adidas. At your local Ross Marshalls, go ahead and pick them up. They are cheap. They're amazing. They smell good. I just hope. I wonder how they perform. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off my face, my makeup, and just go ahead and go to sleep. And hopefully, they'll still smell the same. I'll like I still be able to pick them up tomorrow when I wake up, or later on today. It's barely two twenty, two twenty six a.m. And I'll wake up like around seven, seven, seven a.m. Okay, Jenny. So I'll be back. So for y'all, it'll be quick, and for me, it'll be in a few hours. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. Okay, Jennings, it is currently 8 or 3 a.m. And the light is up. Ugh, sudden. Anyways, um, I cannot smell the red one on my hand, but that's because I washed my hands multiple times. So I washed my face yesterday, and then this morning, I washed my face again before getting out of here. <laughs> and I have this thing um, where I just wash my face. And then, um... Can't smell the vanilla one. And I can't smell the other Adidas one, the team up one. And then the blue mustang, I can smell it faintly, but it's there. <laughs> As you just so funny, I'm here like literally stiffing my arms. The white misting is like there, like you know it's there, but it's not there. You know, like you can just pick it up. And the one on my neck, I don't even know. I can still smell the Nissan one. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that's it. And that's it for today's review on these fragrances. You guys, you guys had a great time watching me. And make sure like, comment, subscribe if you want more fragrance videos. Let me know in the comment section below. And I am going to upload the video on Monday. I thought I was going to go ahead and do this for today on Sunday, but I'm just going to do it for Monday. Maybe Monday night. Okay. Or Sunday night. Okay. Hey guys, bye.